Hi beloved and happy Monday. Welcome to another weekly inspiration and tarot card reading with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. It is Monday 4-4, four, four, so happy 4-4. Four, four. I love the magical vibration of four. It is really that energy of the angels are with you. It is my age and it is just, again, it's a double digit, so it's got that master master number energy to it. So happy Monday, beloveds. So much to share, but and, and then too, want to talk about the new moon that's coming up this week and just so much. But let's go ahead and just take it to prayer. I'm Tanya Melinda, Psychic Medium, Tarot Life Coach. Yes, yes, yes. Just breathing in grace and gratitude, breathing in good. Just knowing in this moment, everything is working for our highest and best good and so I recognize that there is a power there is a presence and that presence is God is spirit is universe is light is love whatever you want to call it it is right here right now and so I just bless us and I bless this day and I bless this week I bless these cards I bless bless the intuition that comes to my mind and I do that, I bless that for you and everyone in your life. So I bless this week and everything in it. I bless our homes, our cars, our dwellings, our modes of transportation, our pets, our plants, our children, our loved ones, our significant others. I bless our friends, our families, our coworkers. I bless every man, woman, and child, every spirit that takes its first breath and every spirit that takes its last. How grateful I am to make these words, to speak these prayers. So I bless it all. I bless our body temples, our minds, our spirits, our bank accounts, our body temples are vibrating. And how grateful I am to just know this truth for each and every one of us as we go out doing what we are here to do, loving, living, and learning. So grateful for this beautiful life and so much more. I release it and I let it be. And so it is, I call forth, Earth, water, fire, air, guide us to what we must share. Allow us to see and know, feel, hear, and understand your divine wisdom and guidance. I call forth the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the goddesses and the gods, the fairies and the elementals. I call forth any spirit guides and ancestors now for this divine and beautiful reading now for each and every person. Okay, beloved, so before I pick cards, I want to tell you some of the energy that I'm feeling. This time of this new moon, only the first one and only one in Aries for this entire year, is all about self-realization. Now let me explain to you what self-realization is. Self-realization is when you realize that you have to become a whole complete person in yourself. Because what happens is, a lot of times we use relationships to distract us from looking at ourself. We use relationships or jobs or whatever to distract us from looking at ourself but to be self-realized means that you are willing to look in and that is the key word for this new moon on Thursday so get ready because it is also a super moon so it's super powerful bug, bug, bug. so let's see what the tarot have to say and again we're on point with that so I just flipped over the cards and the first one uh -oh, I'm stuck I'm stuck my bracelets are stuck first one we get here is the ace of Pentacles so yes this is also a highly prosperous time because when we gain clarity when we get clear about who and what we are then the universe can give us what we ask for. So it comes gracefully and easily when we allow it and align with it instead of being distracted by all these other things, relationships, sex, food, drugs, whatever it is, alcohol. We allow ourselves to be distracted, but our number one place where we do this is with relationships because it's not just romantic. It is our, our personal relationships. It's our work relationships. It's our relationship with ourself. Going back again to that self-realization, which is where then we get this justice card. So the justice card is all about affirming your truth, standing in that, and being balanced. Willing to look at your light and your dark. Willing to understand that you are not perfect, but you are you, and that makes you special. So see things from a different perspective. You are a unique and individualized expression of God, of heaven on earth. So do that, be that, grow that, learn that, live that, experience that, beloveds, because that is what you're here to do. So you have to open your mind to the possibilities that you 
are ready to self-actualize and that you are really ready to look at yourself at the nitty-gritty parts flaws fuck ups the whole thing you have to look at that part so you can come into true alignment with what you are and who you are and guess what everybody makes mistakes and nobody's perfect and here you are still here I went to an energy vortex here in Mexico yesterday, so it's totally shifted my energy. That's why my energy is so calm. But there's so much I want to share with you. And so I would invite you into the Daily Miracle Club prayer call. I record them every single morning. Um, I'm on Central Standard Time, so between 7 and 8 a.m. I record them and upload them, and they're available on Miracle Club Community on Facebook. That's where you can get those, as well as on Tarot Life Coach on Facebook. Um, the number to call in if you want to listen live or on the recording, again, is posted on my website, www.tarotlifecoach.com. And then I also want to remind you, tune in on Wednesdays, 11 Central Standard Time with Tuned In with Tanya Radio Show show on blog talk you can listen at your desk even or call in and get a reading with one of my special guests and this week we have beautiful Sweta Eiler who is an intuitive healer and so I'm looking forward to having her on I've always have great conversations we forget we're on air when we're talking sometimes so it'll be great to have Sweta on and then also wanted to remind you don't forget about the go-to guru girlfriend getaway for the summer solstice it is coming june 21st or i'm sorry june 17th through the 21st it is just a getaway weekend here in mexico hanging with me summer solstice doing some goddess stuff howling at the moon going to this incredible spiritual place called Foco Tonal where I was yesterday and again going on field trips again even though it's a short visit it's not that far when you're here in Mexico and so I wanted to remind you of that and then there's so many other amazing things I'm coming up with some products including jewelry I'm working on that right now my book is coming out in August tomorrow there will be an exclusive mailing going out with inspired um, publishing and I will be sending out a newsletter so if you are not a member of my newsletter please get in that now you'll want to join that kicking off tomorrow with inspired living publishing there's so much going on and I'm so grateful for all of it and so I just want to share with you again tune in beloveds this is time to self realize and again all of the things that I just shared with you is my self-realization again being in b-school allowing myself to see my greatness from again the vision that i have of, of of greatness the empire that i want to build and and being of service and how i can you know share my prosperity here in mexico with children and families in beautiful ways and just support and 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 mentor and coach beautiful spirits like you and and other psychics and healers and things like that so life is life is beautiful beloved let it happen. I just know that everything is happening for a divine and perfect reason. I send you so much love and light. And until next time, beloved, peace and blessings.